the burr strategy. B R R R R. And mainly focusing on the B. Someone asked me, and I think it's important. So, quick review what's the burr strategy stand for? Buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat. Right? And this is referring to, let's just call it like a single family rental. Right? So, simple, quick example you buy a house that needs work, and let's say the house is worth $80,000. Ideally, I say $80,000. No, it's worth $100,000. <laughs> um, let's say that's all in, you would be at like 75. So that's your purchase price and your rehab, right? So let's just say you buy the house for like 60K, you put in 15 to get it rent ready, and you're all in at 75. You get it rented up, you get a tenant in there, you get your monthly rent coming in. Let's say it's like 12, 1300. And then you go to a bank and you refinance out, right? So bank comes in, they do an appraisal. Woohoo, your house is worth 100K. They will usually loan 75 to 80%, right? So whatever that may be, maybe they'll loan you 75, maybe 80. And then you get your money back. And once you get your money back, you have that tenant paying your mortgage and you make a few hundred dollars in cash flow. Essentially, you have ideally no money into it, maybe a few thousand dollars, right? It depends. It's just a quick example. Um, and you use that money to go buy another one, right? So when you buy the property, ideally, you'd be buying it in cash. And that's for two reasons. First reason is most likely the house needs a lot of work and you probably can't get a mortgage on it, right? The second reason would be it's usually really hard if a house does need a lot of work to get a mortgage for it. Why? Because it won't be up to code. A mortgage company won't lend on it, right? And you're going to be paying mortgage fees twice. And then obviously if it's really cheap and it's a really good deal. You can use a hard money lender, but then again, you're paying him. But if it's a really good deal, it might make sense, right? So for the birth strategy to work as it's intended to, you want to buy it in cash, you finance out with, you can either use like a commercial or a normal bank, depending on if you have a W-2 job or you have proof of income um, or if you use a commercial lender, then they're just pretty much banking it on your assets and on the property performance, right? So B is for buy, and you usually want to buy it in cash. That's, I think, the best way it works and the most ideal way of doing it. Obviously, you can do it other ways, but you always want to buy in cash right not with a mortgage um and you could buy with the mortgage if it's not that bad and then you can refinance out of it but that might be more more difficult and convoluted i can't really speak to that because i've never done that but you can definitely buy it in cash refinance out as long as it appraises for more or even if it doesn't appraise let's just say that the house only ends up appraising at like i don't know 90 right and you can only get I don't know, you got like 5 or 10K trapped into it, it's still better because you don't have 20, 25%, right? So you're still under that threshold. And if you are renting it for 12 to 1300, it should be really cool cash flow as long as taxes and everything else are, you know, decent. So hope this video helps. And I think I need to go over the rehab. That's pretty simple. You buy a house that's shitty, fix it up, rent, you put a tenant in there, refinance. You get some refinancing and repeat, you just do the same thing over again. But that was a question I was asked is like when you buy it, how you actually buy it. So hope to answer that question. And if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. You have a great night.